Hey guys, how's it going? This is a pretty awkward camera angle. I've been kind of fiddling with it for like a few minutes now. It's kind of been annoying, but I think I got it in a good place here. And I want to come on and make this hopefully pretty short, quick video for you guys. Um, recently, I saw the movie Don't Worry Darling. I'm not going to review it, so that's kind of why I'm mentioning sort of the fact that I did go see it. Overall, I did kind of enjoy the movie, actually. I thought it was pretty solid, not without its flaws, certainly not one of my favorites of the year. But overall, I walked out being pretty pleased with it and thought it was pretty good. And then, pretty shortly after that, I looked up the Rotten Tomatoes score from the movie as I do Pretty much after I see every movie, unless I know that I'm actually going to do a review for it, then I avoid that stuff so that way it doesn't kind of influence my review for it and my critique for said film. But in this case, you know, I already knew that I wasn't going to be making a video talking about it in a full length review, so I looked it up, saw how low the score was, and I was pretty surprised by that, honestly. And it just took me back to the days when I was younger and just how much more I used to value critics' opinions. You know, I do still find value in critics. You know, obviously I sort of identify as a critic. That sort of used to validate my opinions a little bit more. I would never just change my opinion if I liked a movie and then saw that it had negative reviews and be like, oh, okay, I don't like it anymore. But it would make me more confident to talk about liking it, if that makes any sense. And I just want to come on here and say, just to all of you guys who love watching movies, love listening to music, even if you don't, even if you're just someone that finds the topic of opinions interesting or finds any value in it, I want to encourage you guys to not care about what critics say what scores they give to a particular film or album, TV show, whatever the case may be. And I want to encourage you guys to be confident in your own opinions and not be embarrassed. It is a natural feeling to be maybe a little bit timid and shy about your opinion on something if it is an unpopular opinion. But I really want to encourage you guys to, you know, stand up for yourselves and don't don't worry about what other people think. Just stand up and be confident in your own opinion. Obviously my channel is not that big right now, so it you no know, certainly doesn't really apply to me as much. It applies more to you know the critics that give their voice on Rotten Tomatoes or Metacritic, you know, stuff like that. But I do just wanna maybe speak to if my channel ever does get big enough, maybe if I get somewhere in the thousands of my subscribers, to anyone out there who is watching in the future when my channel is hopefully that big, like, don't take my videos very seriously. Because I, at the end of the day, even though I do watch movies and I listen to albums with more of an analytical approach, I'm just another guy with an opinion. And, like, don't ever, I don't want you guys to ever really view me in that way, you know, I, I'm i working on it, I'm working on like not taking the opinions of critics of Rotten Tomatoes or like if we're talking about music, like of course like every other music lover, I'm always looking at what Anthony Fantano rates the albums that he reviews. I would, you know, sort of try to rephrase and recap everything that I've said up until this point, but I've repeated myself few times already, so I think you guys get the point of what I'm trying to say. I hope you take something away from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I'm, it's very rare that I have like strong opinions on certain things. Don't expect these kind of videos hardly ever, so yeah, just I just felt like coming on here and saying something about that topic, and uh, hopefully you guys will learn something from this short little video. And that is all I got for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.